Speak. All right. You guys have been waiting for an update for some time now. Um, the puppies are, they will be one year September 19th. Actually, September 18th. So that's what we're in July. And in July, we have August, September. So in two months, uh, they're gonna be one years old. Uh, I've been keeping in touch with uh, a few of the puppies uh, from the other owners. Um, their puppies have been doing well. Um, those that have been training, those that have been uh, spending time with their puppies. Um, I mean, they go swimming, they go hiking, people take them to work. Uh, a lot of them have become um, wonderful companions. Uh, so it, it's been a blessing uh, with these puppies. Our puppies, we kept three. Um, and I believe the ones that we kept when we named them when they were puppies um, in their litter, I believe it was one was Dichi, one was BJ, um, and the other one was Gwen. Um, we changed BJ's name to uh, Bash. Uh, because if you've seen some of the videos, he uses his head to bash thing, a lot of things in. Um, uh, let's see. So I've kept up with um, Choco Chunks. Uh, that was, uh, um, and he's big. He's a big boy. He's with the Mormons, um, Mr. and Mrs. Mormon. Um, and then we've got a uh, banner, uh, Lincoln now. Uh, he's with the Wade family. Um, and then we have... Um, Winston, which his name is Zeke now. Uh, they're with another family out of Roseville. Um, and then we got GI. Uh, I'm trying to think of his name prior to being GI, um, but he's with the Mays family. Um, so I've kept in touch with a lot of these families. Um, and they've kept in touch. They've sent me videos, sent me photos. You're going to see it here. Uh, a couple of photos of, of the puppies and then after this we'll cut away to a couple more photos um, But I did want to update you guys on our three puppies that we kept uh, They're a handful, but they are such a blessing super super uh, affectionate um, Super sweet. I'm trying to think uh, the the guardian part of them um, came naturally and um, I don't it didn't scare me um, because they only became protective when they sensed that I needed protection or my daughter needed protection, or I mean, literally if we open the front door, um, when we let them, they dash out and they start barking and then they like kind of like look around and then try to see if there's any uh, mailman or any, any other person looking sus. sus. Um, and then from there, uh, they'll go back in the house. They just literally come out barking, a couple of woo, 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 and then look around and they're like, okay, let me do my business. Um, you know, that it's safe out here. So uh, mom, dad, come on out. Um, I know that with our Gwen, uh, she actually sleeps in our bed. Never had that happen before with our puppies, with any dog my whole life. Um, but she just gets there and snuggles. She has all fours up. You know, she's super confident, super um, secure. Uh, super um, content and then she likes to throw her paws on my chest and then lay there and kind of look at me and like saying um, I missed you I missed you all day I missed you and I'm like oh it's okay I missed you too I missed you too so uh, good times good times good times um, I'm trying to think Dichi uh, well I'll cut to a, a clip as well um, other than normal sit stay fetch go lay down stay or uh, go to your crate she's learned how to shut doors so uh, i want to try to put her on this video see if my sister's around because that's the dog that she kept was dichi and um she um she taught her how to shut her bedroom door which is pretty awesome but when she opens the door like our front door crazy um you know you train them to do something and it's like oh there's the almost awesome dog but then when they do it, when you're not asking for it, and you're like, whoa, I wasn't anticipating that. Ended up busting a hole in our in our front entrance area of our house because she came into the house 
and uh, I'm not sure if she told her to shut the door, but she shut it the other direction, which ended up putting a hole in the wall. So a couple things like that. I'm trying to think if they've ruined the house in any way, other than when they were puppies, they'd pee. Um, usual puppy thing, but now they can wait till they go outside. Um, I'm trying to think anything else. Bash, uh, he's the male dog and I'll, I'll do a little filming while we're watching TV. You'll see what Bash is up to. Um, he's always securing the house. He's going to the front door, to the hallway. And you'll notice he'll, while we're watching TV, he'll sit in front and he'll look at me, not necessarily at me, but look over my head into the other room. Like maybe there's gonna be a threat coming from behind me. Um, so it, it's pretty interesting how he does that. My wife gets irritated by it, but uh, he's just doing his whole security, his sentry thing where he checks all the entrances, all the um, weak points of the house to where anybody can intrude into our home and, and do harm to us. So um, yeah, that's pretty crazy. So other than that, there was actually a time where our next door neighbors uh, were having a, a get together and uh, some youth, some kids uh, decided to jump into our backyard and uh, I didn't think anything was going on. I didn't notice they were in the yard and all of a sudden our dogs just start barking like crazy. And uh, so I was like, two kids passed by my sliding door in my bedroom. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Come out and there's two other kids jumping the fence to our backyard. Uh, but that's a whole nother story altogether. I'll, I'll tell you guys about that later on. But I said, you know what? I don't know what these kids are doing out here. I don't know what they're doing. They're, they're running through my backyard and I opened the door and I let Scotty out, which is the pup's parent, uh, mom. And uh, she came in and taught him a lesson. Don't jump into people's backyards without knowing first what's in the backyard. Uh, she didn't attack. Uh, she kept them in one place of the yard while barking and growling and doing her security thing. So she never attacked. She just planted herself and they were just frozen where they were at. And um, like I said, I'll tell you the story about that later on. But now let's get to the puppies. Let me show you them, uh, these beautiful puppies. Um, let me tell you right now, they haven't stayed in this pen. So this pen has not been used for like the last four or five months. Um, they were way too big for it and they could get out <clears throat> anytime they wanted. Um, so let me show you where they are. Let's walk up. Here they are guys. Uh, that there with the collar on is Gwen. Hi Gwen. Hi, Gwen, can you say hi? Oh, yeah, good job. That's Bash. Hi, Bash. Hi, Bash, can you say hi? They're like, why are we in here? I don't get it. Uh, I just wanted to show the contrast. If you look at my further videos, uh, past videos, you saw when there were little tiny puppies and they were eating in that corner right there. Um, and they were all tiny little pups. But now they're way too big. I, if I told them to, they'd probably jump out. Bash, check out Bash. Bash is a big boy. Look at him. Bash. Good job, Gwen. Good job, Gwen. Good job, Gwen. Yeah. So check them out. They're right here. Super big. I'm actually gonna bring them. That's enough. Sit. 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 Bash. Sit. Sit. Good set, good set. Super handsome, super beautiful, my Gwen. She's got that real Connie Corso look. Got that loose skin. See if they look this way, you'll be able to see it from the side. These are half Rottweiler, half Connie Corso. Mom is Rottweiler, dad was a Connie Corso, he was Brindle. Weighed about 190 pounds. I haven't weighed them yet, but I'll give you some updates. Um, you guys see what weight they are. It is hot out here and Connie Corsos don't do well in the, in the heat. They overheat easily. So I'm gonna let them out. We're gonna go inside the house um, and uh, give you a couple more updates. If anything, maybe I'll just uh, record them playing around, having fun with each other. Go from there. All right, let's clip to that. Can you speak again? Say bye. Speak. Speak. Good job. Good boy, Bash.